We're back now at 839 with our special series, Kick the Habit. Today and this morning, we are breaking those bad habits that cause stress. With us once again is New York Times bestseller, Gretchen Rubin, author of Better Than Before. Gretchen, good morning. Your book is all about bad habits and procrastination has got to be at the top of the yeah, list. Yeah, at, at home and at work, procrastination is a habit that many, many people want to break. So you say there's one foolproof rule that will help us today. What is it? The one-minute rule. Anything that you can do in less than a minute, do it without delay. Because you'll, you'll be astonished by how that just kind of that scum that clogs up your life <laughs> yeah. just vanishes without having to spend like a whole afternoon cleaning up the house or cleaning off your desk. It's true. I, I personally have this problem. I just like circle around yeah. areas and just think, berate myself for not doing it. Yeah. And then it just overwhelms you. It drains you. Yeah. If you just do it a minute at a time, you're amazed at how much you can get done. All right, let's put this to the test. We're going to okay. put 60 seconds on the clock. Okay. This, this actually looks a little like my apartment, so yeah, 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 let's yeah. get to cleaning. Okay. Okay. So we just what you're just saying. I'm gonna throw out this food. You're not gonna eat it, right? No. Nope. nope okay. No. Nope, nope. Anything okay, that you, you want to? Oh, this coat should okay. be hung up. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna fold the blanket. Um, you want to throw? Oh, oh, yeah. you're straightening the newspapers. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna stack these up. All right. How are we doing on our time? I don't know. Well, they haven't rung the bell I, yet. I feel like we're making progress. Don't look though. at my folding skills. It's looking better. Okay, yeah. There we go. Put this away. I see, though. You basically, if you tell yourself, I can do this in 60 seconds, or I'm going to clean for 60 seconds and yep. see how far I got. I got 30 seconds. Actually, I actually think we're doing pretty good here. Yep. All right. This might have to go out to the trash compactor. I'm going to throw out my script. Gretchen, I think we've done it. Ta-da. Look. And it it looks, looks so good. Yes. And, oh, we have 20 seconds left over, too. Morale booster. Okay. Gretchen, thank you. Uh, we'll send you over to Matt, actually. Great. Run along. Come Don't on delay. over, Gretchen. Are right, we going to talk about procrastinating in the workplace At work. now, right? You know the expression, don't put off to tomorrow what you can do today? Easier right. said than done. Yes. And you might be right now procrastinating, one of the most popular forms of procrastination, where you get on BuzzFeed or whatever, and pretty soon two hours have gone right. by. And we often make that worse with our tomorrow logic, which is thinking, what well, does it matter? matter if I waste time today, because tomorrow I'm going to be so productive and efficient. All right, so your ideas are? Work or do nothing. Set aside time for something that's a priority and work or do nothing. Isn't doing nothing almost as bad as procrastinating? No, because it turns out that working is one of the most dangerous forms of procrastination. So you think that you're working on a report, but in fact you're checking your emails, you're cleaning out your files, you're doing research, you're making plane reservations. Work on this project or do nothing else. I think we could all be very efficient if we had a solid block of time to accomplish things, but I have a lot of things going yeah. on, so I've got 10 minutes tiny, at a time. Tiny slices. So what's good is to have a list of things that you can do very quickly so that you don't think like, well, what can I do in 10 minutes? There's no point in doing anything, but have those things. Don't waste your, your valuable time on those minor tasks, but use them for those little tasks. I've enjoyed our time together, but Great. I'm going to send yeah. you on to Carson Come over, on over in the Gretchen. Come now on over. green orange room. Watch yourself there. Let me give you a hand. All right. Well, as you can see here, we've got Got some nervous habits going on. Kick the habit in the orange room or the green room today is all about these nervous habits. We've got Saxon, she's biting her nails. Yeah, yeah. Courtney here smacking the gum. Brittany's twirling her beautiful locks. Why are these some of the hardest habits to break? Because these are the habits that are with us all the time. Our mouth, our fingers, our hair. We can't just leave those at home. We can't not buy them. They're with us all the time and they're really ingrained so they're very hard to kick. These are also habits that don't necessarily bother the girls. They just bother other people. <laughs> Absolutely. They're like, yes, they cause harm to others even if you're enjoying yourself perfectly well. You have 21 strategies in the book. Yes. What are some of those tools that, that, are, that are best to break these particular nervous habits? One is the strategy of inconvenience. Make it inconvenient to do a habit. So I'm a hair twirler and I've learned that if I wear fingertipless gloves, oh, I, can't get, I can't get my twirling done right. or give yourself fake fingernails. So the time and the effort and then you don't get the satisfaction of biting your nails. It's too inconvenient. Or the strategy of distraction. Use a squeeze ball, fiddle with a paper clip, do something to keep that hand busy so that you don't um, indulge in the bad What about habit. the smacking of the gum? This is the yeah, worst in the office. Well, that you make just, it stop. Well, there you can not buy the gum. Just, you know, and maybe uh, suck on a plastic stirrer. So That's make it harder for yourself to, to yes. do these, yes. these nervous yes. habits. Yes. If you can't yes. do it, then Block it. it. Yeah. or if it tastes bad, yeah. it sounds yeah. good. Excellent. Gretchen Rubin, thank you very much.